Hi everybody, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. So, yesterday I did my first attempt at a silhouette pour, and now it's dried overnight. I did get some bubbling up here, which I expected, even though I've put the varnish down. I know when there's that much paint on it, um, it's going to bubble up. But you know what I think I learned, too? I put some varnish over this lip before I laid down the paint. I should have also over this one because it bubbled up from here and worked its way in also, the air, and maybe helped lift it. I don't know, but whatever. I expected that. So I've got with me today like a sanding block because I expect if there's a ledge, I might have to sand it down a little. I don't know if there's going to be a ledge. It doesn't seem that thick, but I'm trying to be ready. And then I've got some paint brushes here, a few different sizes to kind of paint my negative space and I think I decided this had Payne's gray, um, deep turquoise and metallic blue and I think I'm going to do the Payne's gray over here. It's the darkest of the three colors and I think next to that white edge will offer a nice little um, contrast. What I thought was interesting is in the Payne's gray, deep turquoise and metallic blue when I swiped, I kind of have this purple lacing effect and a little bit of purple here, which is really beautiful and unexpected. Um, I've seen people do a few of these with a flip cup instead of a swipe, and you get some larger cells then, um, bigger bubbles, so to speak. But um, So I might try that next time. But I do like how this one's looking. So let's do the big reveal together <laughs> and see what kind of a mess I've got to clean up here. I'm going to go kind of slow. And I want to pull in the direction of the vinyl and not just this way. Like I want to pull out here. See, it definitely leaked under here. Which, oh, and it took up some of the so off the canvas. That's all right. I can just fix that by painting over it. Oh. I need for this to go right in there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to nudge it. I'm going to nudge it just a little with these tweezers. the eyelash and I might need to go back with my tweezers and kind of specifically lift there maybe what I'll do actually is start from this side <laughs> All right, so I definitely had some leaking underneath there, and I expected as much, so I'm going to need to, like, there's a big lip there, so just kind of bring it up here. Got a pretty decent line here, but really bad there, there, and along there. So we'll get to cleaning that up. I wasn't sure what to expect other than a little bit of trouble. <laughs> this is really trouble right there. That's a big lip there. kind of started
I don't want to get a Dremel out for this because I think it would go too fast. I just want to slowly sand down that really big lip right there. Because I knew I'd have to come in. I mean, my plan is to fill in the opaque, uh, I mean, the negative space anyways, but I don't want to have this big, huge lip. I know, it's probably not very interesting to watch, but I did tell you that I would come back today and got another couple of big lips right there that I'm going to try and get. I think I'll get this a little bit more. Okay, that's better. So even though the gesso came up with the vinyl here, the canvas is still intact underneath it, so no harm, no foul. I can just paint right over that. way the purple and the light light blue kind of go up into her face I do so I almost feel like I could do like a dark purple over here instead of the blues maybe I'll do a little of each who knows okay I'll take make sure okay so now let's just see what happens when we fill this in got some Payne's gray here my bottle's almost empty and I think, you know, just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to grab some I didn't expect to do. Any purple on this, but I'm going to grab some dioxanine violet as well. And I think, quiet down little puppies. There we go. Had a little bit of trouble getting that out, but there it is. All right, so I've got some Payne's Gray and Dioxanine Violet. They are both by Creative Inspirations. I know you can't really see that because I always grab these things when I have uh, paint on my hands. And uh, I'm just gonna start putting some broad strokes in here and I'll get in closer you know next to the face in a little bit I'm just going to get the sides real quick so I don't forget about those. Little blue, little purple. And I'll worry about my brush strokes in a little bit, but that's yeah, pretty, pretty straight. 
but like if you go like this and you're not paying attention I mean that's the that's the pattern that it will leave in your paint so strokes do matter and I think for this one I just kind of want to have a You know what? I mean, I think that could look kind of cool with some white in there, too, actually. Just a little. We'll see. I may like it just like that. Let's go on for some of the finer detail work. Super boring for you to watch. But this is what's going to be important here and how uh, the contrast looks. Grab some purple too. This is that tricky area where there was that big lip. It's still a little uneven, and so I want to make sure my brush doesn't really tip down where it's not supposed to. And I don't want that to dry too much before I blend it in with my bigger brush. So rather than do all the outlining at once and then come back and do all of the different stuff there, I'm going to kind of grab it and just work it into the other colors as I go. So I can get that kind of, it doesn't look like a line there that's not blended, blended into the rest. Okay, I should have started at the <laughs> twenty twenty hindsight. I probably should have done this a little differently because now I have to be careful. Uh, it looks like I went a little bit over the edge there. Let's try and fix that shape. And I have to have my reader's glasses now because I can't do anything without them. <laughs> I can't see up close. All right, so now I should have 2020 hindsight. I'm right handed, so I shouldn't have colored this in um, because now I got to be real careful not to let my hand touch in there. Whereas if I would have started from the left and the top and worked my way down, that would have been better. I could have balanced on the canvas. So just FYI, that's already an observation that I am realizing right now. I would do differently if and when I do another one of these. And it's kind of cute. So I could see me maybe doing another one of these. I don't, I know this is probably not very exciting for you to watch, but I don't want to rush through this part either. Right here. Because that would be hard to fix. <laughs> okay, back up here where there's another bit of a lip. I'm going to kind of start up here. And pull along this line. And there's a little bit of that lip that I sanded a little bit down. Flip my brush over. And 
and grab that again. A little bit of purple there. Uh, sorry guys, super boring. All right, I probably should have done this on a hyperlapse video since it's just painting in the opposite area. But then you wouldn't have heard me talk about the error of not starting at the top and working my way down and to the right. These little these little tricks are great. So hopefully, I mean, that's the point of me doing these YouTube. It isn't that I am all that at all. I'm still super learning everything. But I learned so much from so many different artists on YouTube. that I thought it would be fun to try and give back a little new knowledge. Okay, there we go. Almost done with the outlining part. <laughs> I find I'm holding my breath. You can see I didn't quite sand it down exactly level there, but I don't think it's going to matter that much, especially if I put like a coat of resin on this. I don't think you'll notice those little bit of differences. Before this dries up too much, let's come in here. You can see it's already dry here. So if I wanted to put some white in, I would have to do it while this is still pretty wet. But I don't know. I think I'll just leave the white for over there. Of course, I probably could have avoided also <laughs> some pain of not having to work around the wet if I would have done this. <laughs> right? Why don't I think of these things earlier for crying out loud? All right. I thought of it now. All right, let's just finish this area off. Okay, I have to whew, take a hold my breath here because there's that little bit of a lip there and I don't want to spooge over onto the other side of it. And I also needed to turn it this way so I could get this one side over here better. Oops, oops. Kind of made a boo boo there. So this isn't hard, it's just you need to be slow and careful. Okay. This side down here where I can see I didn't get it very well the first time. And over here. Check on my sides before I go back in and finish 
blending some of these colors together. Because I don't really want any of the white showing through right here. here in those particularly deep spots there's a little bit of a ledge and make sure that the white's not showing through probably could have used a little more sanding there but I don't think it'll be noticeable when I put a resin coat on it's not super bad Okay. Hmm. Let's just fix these brush strokes in here. Blend out this way. I know I'm not talking much, it's just I think because I'm focusing so much. Make sure I don't rush and then like make a big oops here at the last minute and then splooge into the white. Because I could see myself doing that. All right, that's about it. I'm about to call her done. So, since you were patient enough to watch me go through all of that, <laughs> let's bring you in for a close-up. Yeah, it's dry now, so it's not moving well. I don't want to... I could get a little bit of water and kind of thin it out if I don't want those really harsh brush strokes. I'm kind of liking the purple and blue lines. I don't know. I'm going to see how this is going to dry. I might go back in and do a second coat. Or I actually think, you know what? I am just going to go for it. I have... A little bit of my drinking water here. <laughs> oh. Actually, I have my regular water down here too, right? Don't I? Somewhere? I don't see it. It must be downstairs. I just poured a little bit of water in here. I'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit and just kind of thin those strokes out a little. Just re-wetting that acrylic so that since it dried so much, And I don't want to have those places where you can see I put my brush down, which I think you can see. I know probably some of you are saying, just stop touching it. Hmm. 
but I don't want to stop touching it. That's part of the problem. <laughs> That's part of the problem we all face is overworking something, right? But see, I had that glob there I wanted to get off, and I couldn't. It was too dry. Oh, there we go. I got it. There was a big glob of paint there. It was bugging me. I couldn't get rid of it. I couldn't pull it through the paint because it was too dry. And now I got it a little more wet, and I totally got rid of it. And I'm not going to try and get in really close next to the face. That can stay as is, but I might put a little more purple down here. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, I kind of like that purple streaky. Okay. Now I think I'll call it quits. And now we can come down. Although, oh, good grief. I'm definitely seeing some of that canvas there. Now probably because it is too wet. All right, I'm going to have to come back in with some paint afterwards. But for now, we'll call this good. I just will probably let it dry about 15 minutes and then just go fix all that. But no need to keep you waiting all that time. Let's just come in and take a close look at her. This is dried pretty much dry and I think a little bit of resin with a little bit of glitter like crystal glitter will make that look really beautiful there's some really beautiful uh, lacing in here and what I thought was really neat is how there's some of the purple that came through here there's no purple <laughs> but I definitely got this kind of beautiful purple um, swish going out from her face. And that's why I wanted to put a little bit of, let's see if you can see that a little better, a little bit of that Payne's Gray with the purple in there, just to kinda, yeah, looks kinda good. I uh, just am gonna let this dry a little bit and then come in right here where I don't wanna see those brush strokes. You know, it was too dry, and then the brush was actually picking up the paint and lifting it off. And even though I tried to wet it and fix it, it still is there. So I'll just fix that a little bit up. But for the most part, there she is. I'd say I'm pretty happy with that, and I like it. So thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, and have fun painting, everyone.